Hi, I'm Kava Kumail, Technical Program Manager with Cisco DevNet. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're at Cisco Live Europe, and I'm joined here by our famous celebrities, DevNet celebrities. Famous celebrities. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Mel and Denise, would you like to introduce yourself? I, although I don't think you need an introduction anymore. You're famous. Oh, so. my gosh. <laughs> now you're putting all this pressure on me, Kava. This is, you're, you're killing Okay, so my name is Mel Delgado, developer advocate at Cisco. I'm Denise Kwan. I'm also a developer advocate at Cisco. So you are tagged today to be on this interview because I noticed that you guys were recording your show. And, and this show seemed very interesting. The way the discussions you were having were very interesting. And so I wanted to kind of shed some light on what, what's the show name? What, what, why did you come up with the show? What exactly is the concept behind it? Uh, you want to start or you want me to start? I guess start. Okay, go for it. Um, the show is called The Daily Stand-Up, and the reason why we called it The Daily Stand-Up, I really think, is because we were nerds. We, we were talking about what we should call it, and oh we kind of said that it's like user stories, and we're talking about different user stories, and so that's when we talk about it in The Daily Stand-Up, and that's how we came up with the idea. Hopefully, it was a, it, hopefully it's a good thing. Yeah, but yeah. the idea behind The Daily Stand-Up is the fact that developers and operations typically don't talk to each other very much. And we wanted to see how we can break that barrier. Um, Mel and I get along, hopefully, unless he's just <laughs> messing with me. But there's a lot of things I think that developers are afraid to ask operations. And I think vice versa, because there is a lot of ego involved. Like, I know what I'm doing and they know what I'm doing, I'm the best. And I, that's at least my perception on why they don't talk to each other. Right. And so when we neutralize that and we were able to talk to each other about topics that are on our minds, like a lot of the topics that I bring up is something that I want to ask an operations person. Right. Um, and I know that Mel won't be offended and get really mad at me for asking, so <laughs> that's pretty much what. <laughs> yeah, and then my take on it is, is basically we echo what you were saying is that, that that comes from the agile culture In the agile culture you're as you mentioned there's these there are these user stories and and things that you need to accomplish and what you do is you get together every day and you have this what's called the daily stand-up which is to talk about the things that you did yesterday the things you're gonna do today and perhaps the things you could do tomorrow and when you're doing that you get this sort of a sense of like well maybe I can help you if you're blocked yeah. with a certain problem mm -hmm. and that kind of thing but Overall, when you look at the 10,000 foot view, it's supposed to be the short meeting. It's short, like, you know, half hour meeting or something yeah. mm -hmm. every day. And so we call it a daily stand -up. It doesn't, we don't have daily episodes. That was my <laughs> next question. Yeah, which also I, think you I beat spoke you too. Yeah, yeah. So yes. you don't have daily episodes. It maybe just comes we'll from that. Maybe we'll eventually get Maybe, daily maybe episodes. it'll be, yeah. yeah but the demand. idea is short, quick. It's almost like what you would resolve on a daily basis. Yeah. You talk about those, resolve it, and move on. That's right. So it's, it's just a short agile. something. We're, we're probably not going to dive into details. If we do details, perhaps separate videos on that mm -hmm. particular topic, but when you're you know, just talking over some things, some thoughts, they're almost like user stories. I think that's a good yeah. way of putting it. Yeah. Oh. Well, that, that makes sense, and, and that's how you do it at work too, right? The faster you resolve it, the faster you move on, the faster you get to a, a, your next project or the next solution or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the question's already answered, why name it the daily stand-up? It's already there. Yeah. Um, no daily episodes, but we're T treating it as if it's daily concepts you're resolving, essentially, right? Um, so who, who do you try to, tar like, who's your target audience in this? Who are you talking to when you do this? Well, I, I think, as Denise mentioned, can I take this one? Yeah. All right, so, and we do get sure. along, by the way. Sure. We get along. <laughs> you have dev and you have ops, and sometimes you'll see this tension between them just because of the different disciplines. Uh, and, and everyone in, in those teams, both on the ops and the dev, Everyone is, you know, we're all professionals. And we have, you know, our set of skills that we apply to whatever it is that we're doing in our world. Uh, but, but sometimes those, you know, we, we have to work together if we're going to. So your take on that? I think that it's like, you know, who we're trying to, who we're trying to reach, who, both the dev and the ops, right? We want to show people, show them that if you communicate, you can achieve more than having that wall. Why? Let's break that silo. Let's break that barrier. If we work together, we're going to do things a lot faster, more efficient. Um, by I think some of the topics that we were talking about just in the previous episode, like 
what are the APIs you want? What do you want? Because why am I just going to guess when I can just talk to you and ask? Right. So tell me one thing. If, if, I, if there is an early learner in the audience who's watching your episode um, versus an advanced user who already knows the tools and tips and techniques, can both of them benefit from your show? Absolutely. Yep. I, I think it, you'll see us probably start off with some beginner concepts maybe. And there are going to be those folks that are hoping and maybe aspiring for their organization to make a DevOps transformation, for example, uh, maybe even a digital transformation altogether. And, and then these topics will start to come up. The language, the, the vernacular, the culture starts to change. And so you'll see some folks at different parts of their journey. And I think this, when, when we put the daily stand-up and we had it, that, that, the show in mind, we wanted to reach out to the entire audience. Of the folks that are a little bit more advanced, they might look at our topics and say, you know what, it's a little bit, you know, I, I, we went through this and here were my learnings. I'm going to put those in the comments yeah. and, and join the discussion. Because at the end of the day, it's about community. Right. And we can bring that community together uh, regardless of how far along they are in that DevOps transformation, perhaps, or you know, in their journey when they're just looking at dev and ops in their world in a modern context. Most likely, they, they will, everybody will benefit, I think, because they're going to be able to contribute no matter what in the comments and either ask for more on that subject or, you know what, share their own experiences with us. Yeah, and I think that's the goal, to build that community because we want to break down the silos but also to let them, for those who are afraid to ask their counterparts, you know, if they just put those comments in the, put their, their ideas in the comments, we can talk about that. And right. we're coming from that perspective. I come from the dev perspective. Mel comes from the ops perspective. Yeah. And we can you know, use our experience right. to help. Right, and that, that's a good tip for our users. If, if you're watching their episodes, or if you haven't watched yet, where we make sure to put the URL on the screen, make sure you check it out. If you're watching the episodes, and you're just another user who cannot ask their management you know, about certain co questions or concepts, Make sure to ask them. Let's get those questions rolling, and we can have Mel and Denise actually answer them um, in their sessions. It's, it's, they do it every every week, every few weeks. The episodes come out. You're going to get your answers probably faster than you would <laughs> staying through and just holding your questions and never yeah. getting answers. So this is a, a great opportunity. Um, thank you so much, both of you. Thank you. Um, we look thank forward you. to watching your next episodes. I know you're covering concepts. I'm definitely interested to learn more and actually spread the word about it. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.